When DeSoto County Schools students head to class and begin their new school year tomorrow morning, they'll be greeted with new security upgrades and more student resource officers. Our Brad Broders breaks down what's new for our area's second largest school district. The way I feel as a dad, I mean, it's scary, you know, sending them off because you, you're with them all the time. Stephen Wright is the dad of three DeSoto County School students, a parent like many others, who worry about their children's safety every day they head to class. I think they're doing a pretty good job up here, to be honest with you. They, they're, they're taking a lot of precautions and, and making sure everything's right. Wright is referencing the security upgrades made during the summer, notably that for the first time this school year, each of the 42 DeSoto County School campuses will be staffed with a school resource officer. A lot of peace of mind, actually. I mean, you know, more security, more safety, better I can feel sending them to school. We want our parents to know that we're being as proactive as we possibly can. DeSoto County School Superintendent Cordy Usselton said the additional school resource officers provide additional benefits during school hours. We want people to see that school resource officer's car when they come onto campus, but also having them there where they can build those relationships with the students and then the students can come to them and that trust is there. Usselton said all district teachers performed lockdown drills this summer, so they'll be better prepared to lead them. DeSoto County Law Enforcement also conducted school safety drills last month and staff did deeper inspections of each school building. At the beginning of the summer, uh, we gave an opportunity for each of our principals to come down and meet individually with our maintenance team in case they had any maintenance concerns, uh, any issues with doors or front entrances to where uh, they might need some assistance and something upgrade over the summer. The DCS superintendent said there are some bus driver and teacher vacancies to begin the year. Principals with teacher vacancies plan to use either substitutes or literary specialists until those slots are filled. In Hernando, Mississippi, I'm Brad Broders.